bottles on wine Picking up skills of every kind Old school thrills and modern frights We're serving up screens for 60 nights From ghastly new to aged gore Two months of chills, who could want more? It's flip-flopped over, double the dread Laugh till you scream, we'll hide under the bed From cheesy slashers to eerie cold Two months of horror, new and old This week, we're carving up Thanksgiving, directed by Eli Roth. And this holiday slasher, a vengeful pilgrim stalks a town after a Black Friday riot turns deadly. But did Thanksgiving serve up the scares we hoped for, or was this slasher a real turkey? Find out on this episode of Flick Flop Tober. Yeah. And Ember. Flick Top Tober. Ember. 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 I, uh, Gary, I didn't even know about this movie. I am, I'm like super, super lame. <laughs> um and I didn't know about this film. So uh I think this watch. came out and I think this came out around Thanksgiving last year. It I think did. it was like yeah. a holiday film for last year. Yeah. Yeah, a holiday favorite. I'm uh, sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's planes, trains, and automobiles. <laughs> and, and, and this. And this. Yeah. Uh so Rotten Tomatoes, Gary, in case you're curious. Curious. This is sitting at 84 with the critics and 80 with the audience. So it's a very, you know, it's, it's, it's a good film. It's uh, fresh as the kids would say. Fresh. And, so uh, fresh. So fresh, fresh. And uh, I'm ready to give my, my quick review. If you want one, are you ready for your numbers? Review. I mean, number, but you're our, our poop -a meter. A quick reminder that our rating system is unconventional. We don't hand out stars, we hand out poos and TPs, up to five of them. And just to add more confusion, the more we give, the crappier we think the film is. Crappier, get it? Y yeah, it's dumb, but that's the way we do it. Go. <laughs> I gave this, Gary, uh, I'm going to surprise you with it. I gave it one. One. Ah, ah, ah. Nice. I love this movie. <laughs> I gave it a two, actually. I, I'm yeah. not too far off. Um, yeah, I, I liked it quite a bit, too. Um, so I don't think I actually rated it yeah. uh, before we talked about it tonight. So I had to kind of reflect real quick and kind of come up with a number. But having we just discussed Heretic, mm. and I put it in the, you know, I started thinking about the levels of where I put stuff. Right. I'm like, I'm like uh, this, I mean, it's not really fair to judge it that way, but uh, but yeah, so, but too, I mean, I do right. think it was a good movie though, it was absolutely so this is right up my wheelhouse. So, yeah. this was Eli Roth, I saw in a little vignette, little interview thing that he did, and they asked about the making of this movie. And he said, from an early when he was a kid or a young person, he wanted to make a film like Halloween, yeah. But Halloween has already been taken. So he made Thanksgiving, which is kind of like, oh, okay, well, that's kind of funny. But this film delivers exactly what he set out to do. And, and yeah. in a good way, you know, we've watched our share of crappy slasher films. And this is a slasher film for all intents yeah. and purposes. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. But it's good. Yeah. In the same sense that Halloween is good. I mean, you know, Halloween kind of ushered in the slasher era. I, I, I don't know if it's the very first one, but that's kind of general, generally accepted as the the real original, the old, the OG slasher film. And this, this really is right in that same family tree. Like this film is really good yeah. and it entertains and he does it. I mean, either I, I like Eli Roth. So I knew going in, I'd, I kind of went in positive. I mean, you know, he's done the hostile films and, and while those are kind of super gory, uh, this thing does not disappoint on the gore, by the way, it has some moments where I was kind of like, Oh yeah. Um, but, what I did, my little, what little research I did after watching this film, um, you know, it's based on as a, the fictitious trailer from the Grindhouse movie from 2007, uh, which oddly enough, and I'll admit this here, I haven't seen the Grindhouse movie. So I I don't have a reference point for this. Yeah, I'm embarrassed to say that I didn't actually see yeah. them either. <laughs> so we'll, have, we'll, make it, we'll endeavor to find, I mean, look, you know, we, yeah. have, we haven't seen all the films. Um, 
but yeah, this was based on his trailer in that movie. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, I do. I did some quick numbers on this just out of curiosity, and the budget for this was fifteen million. It ended up making forty six point six million, which is you know, pretty damn good. And um, I kind of remember at the time that this came out. I mean, I, like I said, I didn't see it then, but I kind of remember it being like one of those surprise hits when it came out. Yeah, but it was making well, a lot of money when it came out. He does a great job building the mythology of uh, the guy behind us here. Yeah, and. You buy into it. I bought into it. Uh, there's some red herrings. You know, person I thought was the killer yeah. was not at all. Yeah. I will tell you, the person you know who ended up being the killer, I did not. I didn't see coming at all. Andy, I'm going to do something unprecedented here. Oh shit! I am going to back my score up to a one instead of a two. There it is. I, I'm changing it because I'm starting to recollect a few things about this movie that I really, really liked. Yeah, like little, I just saw this movie night yeah, before I, last. I saw so, like a week or so ago, so it's been a while. But uh, and I've seen many things in between it, so it's hard to recall when I'm. I should have done a, an actual score then. Um, but it, when you were just talking about, it, I was remembering a few of the things about it. It does such a it. It got me with the killer. Yeah, uh, we won't say anything to spoil in case you haven't seen it. But I will tell you that I went back and flipped to the movie again because I was like, how's that possible? Did they telegraph it? No, no, no. Well, I wasn't worried about that. I was more like, yeah, but wasn't the person the, right? The logistics of it. Kind of right. That, like, yeah, I was trying to try to work through that. And so I backed up and actually kind of watched the movie like a ha like half of it again to try to line everything up and see if it was actually possible. We did it, does, does it work out? Uh, from what I saw it, it did. There's a little, there's some still questionable there's some parts. Stretches. Yeah. There's some, there's a little bit, of, but for the most part, it was like, well, that per he, that particular person wasn't in that scene that I thought he was. He, mm -hmm. she, whatever. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of spoiler free. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, oops. <laughs> but, <That's okay>. uh, <laughs> No, but, but you're right, because I did that too. When the, when the killer was revealed, I started doing some like, wait, would that have been possible? Because there's like yeah. a, well, uh, not to give any, but the, the parade scene is what really threw me off. Yeah. Because I was like, well, where, where would he have been during the parade? They do a really good job. There's another character in this film that is mostly, you're, you mostly ignore this character. And mm -hmm. I, you know, I don't want to say anything about it since this is spoiler free. And that character actually ends up taking the place of the killer in your mind when you recall that scene. Yep. It's it's crafty the way it's done because it did fool me. Um, and I I did. I went back and was thinking, like, no, no, because the person was there. Weren't they right there during this part? That would have been impossible. Right. And it does. If you go back and watch it, it's like, oh, I guess that wasn't that person. And I'll tell you about it later. But, uh, but yeah, I, I am going to, ch I'm changing my score because I forgot about all that. And that, that really did kind of hit me with like, that was, that was well done. Yeah. And I'll say yeah. again, uh, just like we did with, um, with Heretic, this is one I would watch again. Yeah. Uh, I remember I, again, my daughter's my go to for horror and I, I texted her. I said, man, I just finished watching Thanksgiving. And she goes, oh, wasn't it fantastic? And I said, it was. I was pleasantly surprised with this film. Oh, well, I have to say this, though. Uh, totally nothing to do with the film. It took me three hours to watch this film because my phone kept ringing. Oh. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, for the love of God. No one calls me ever during the day. And I'm I guess they're important for you to pick them up. <laughs> it just kept ringing. And I was like, hold on, pause. And then it's like a half hour conversation. I was like, all right. Then I'm like, start. And I mean, I, I literally get I'm Tim, it's in the phone rings again. I'm like, oh, you're killing me. You're just killing me here. <laughs> um, real quick, one of the things that I that I that I appreciate about this film also was it is, it's a straight up, it's a return to straight up slasher films with like you said with Halloween. I didn't know that. So knowing that, it's like, oh yeah, that's obvious now because it really feels like an old school kind of slasher. Yeah. Um, there are some ridiculous kills in it. There's, oh there's, my God. Kills, there's some, I've got a note on one of the kills that I'm like, come on. Like there, there's some of them that are just, 
there's no way it could happen, but it's funny because it, it actually made me kind of chuckle because it was so ridiculous. Um, I got a couple more notes. I don't know how many notes you have. We can bounce yeah, back. That, and forth that's you it. Want. You can go ahead. Okay. Uh, I want to say notes. there's one character that I thought that is that dude looks like a young David Schwimmer. <laughs> I don't know if you caught that. The one guy. I know exactly I was like, what you're talking about. Young David Schwimmer. <laughs> um, I put that it's kind of in a weird, weird time period. It feels like a throwback to the 80s in feel, but they have yeah, cell phones. Right. Um, you see some of the vehicles. There are newer vehicles, but then there's these really obviously 80s vehicle, like the truck and stuff that's in it. And I'm like, I don't, I don't know if this is like just some backward like old like town. That's it was confusing yeah, it, with the a time little time bending. Like it was, it was confusing that part. There were a couple Mark Cuban references in it. Um, yeah. I would, I noticed one, and then when I noticed the second one, I was like. Like, what's up with that? Like, of all the things, like of all the two, people to reference, two Mark Cuban. It dates the movie, which is weird. It's like, really, like two Mark Cuban references. Yeah. yeah. Um, if you know who Tim Dillon is, Tim Dillon has a cameo in this movie. He's in it. Um, he's a comedian. If you don't know Andy, um, he was actually in uh, Joker Two. Wait by the way, he is the comedian in Joker Two. He was the uh, security guard that asked to get the book signed. <laughs> Um, so wait. Don't, ask, don't ask me who he was in this one because I got it, the notes on it, but I don't recall at the moment. Okay, okay. Um, but he's in it, uh, and I'll look that up real quick in a, in a few moments to tell you. Uh, I wrote down ridiculous kills, and I also wrote down three lockbox. Yes, because <laughs> I was like, Andy's Which again gonna is an odd reference because right, because it's an eighties. Like <laughs> people won't even listen to that song in the nineties. Yeah. So, like, this film is clearly set in a modern era, and they're cranking a little Hagar, which is... Yeah, it was bizarre. Um, all of that aside to say that it was, it was a very enjoyable film, and I, and I, and, you know, you kind of, it's kind of nice to have more movies for around Thanksgiving that are in the horror genre to watch, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, we got, we got quite a few with Christmas. Um, yeah. And so I'm gonna, they had some I'll, Thanksgiving ones. <laughs> and I'll, I'll just say this, and I'm sure people out there uh, will agree with me, although they're probably not watching the show. Um, I was iterating. <laughs> I was trying to get you. Uh, I, I look. I like Eli Roth. Uh, the guy delivers. He usually. I, I don't know his entire filmography, but I mean, everything of his I've, I've watched, he's just always delivered. I think he's a really good filmmaker, and. Um, I'm always on board with Eli Roth. I, again, like I said, I can't say I've seen everything of his. Um, just like I haven't seen everything Tarantino's done, but they're all part of that that universe. And yeah. uh, I like these filmmakers. And uh, good job, Eli. And I, I hope. Um, I I think I I thought I wrote it down, but I don't see it. Yes, here it is. Uh, there is a sequel coming. Good uh, next year. The good. script's been handed in. Um, and uh, we will see uh, Thanksgiving. Voila, doa. I like I like the fun the fun uh, thre uh, slasher films. You know? Yeah, there's something to them. Like as much as we love an intense psychological type film like Heretic, there's a, a, a deep down childlike love of slasher films they're just and and well done you because we've watched a lot of just slasher films that are just like man nah, it's yeah yeah but then we we talk i mean i always mention like saw i think saw was a very well done gore fest movie yeah i buy into whatever the crazy storyline is and i did the same with thanksgiving i mean it was a little you know a lot over the top but well done well done yep. mr roth well done, Mr. Roth. Well, thanks, everybody. Please like, comment, subscribe, and let us know if you were faster than us to watch Thanksgiving since we're a year late. Uh, yeah. And if you did, let us know down in the comments what you thought about it. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Bye. This has been a Touch of Madness production, brought to you by the creative minds at Tommy Twins Media.